In 1871, Sultan Ali of Perak died, giving rise to a dispute over who would succeed him. The Madri chose Raja Ismail over the expected successor, Raja Abdullah. To stake his claim to the throne, Raja Abdullah got himself involved in the Chinese disputes over the mining of tin in Larut. Fighting broke out between the rival Chinese groups, threatening to hurt British interests in the Strait settlements. Thus, when Raja Abdullah approached the British to intervene in the matter, they did not hesitate. The governor of the Strait settlement, Sir Andrew Clark, called for a meeting of all the chiefs at Pango in 1874. Not all the Pera chiefs. History? What history? Ah, 
This is fiction. <laughs> we are creating fiction. Hey, 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 I need to prepare for my next role. See. <laughs> so, what about uh, historical truth? Historical truth depends on who is telling the history and what he is trying to get across. Who his audience are. <laughs> history can even be manipulated to convey opposing truths. You can screw around with history. Huh? <laughs> okay, even if you can screw around with history, how do we know what is the real truth? The real truth? Okay, you know that the man said to be British resident in Pera was named James W. W. Birch, right? Um, that was a nose lie, I don't know if you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, that is historically true. Okay, <laughs> listen to this. Ah, this is what is about him. <laughs> Frank Swettenham said about him. In Mr. Birch, the British government lost one of its most courageous, able, and zealous officers. Is this true? This is what his successor said, Sir Hugh Low. Mr. Birch was violent, drank, and did some high-handed things. Is that true too? Historical truth. Okay. Well, fulfill yourself by fulfilling. 
fulfilling your husband. How can I fulfill my husband if I do not first fulfill myself? Do not think of only yourself, Mastura. I do not hear your mother complaining to me about this all these years we've been together. <laughs> she gives me fulfillment. She gave me you. I often ask her why women cannot be more than wives and mothers. <laughs> what do you want them to be then? Well, mm -hmm. why can't they be chiefs like Bamba? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
that? He is powerless. We do not have to fear. Only Raja Abdullah and his parasites recognize the right And Raja Abdullah is a man without honor. No, I've heard. His wife apparently ran away with some sheep from Salama. Ah. And you know what he did? You know what he did? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely nothing! <laughs> Now tell me, does such a weakling deserve to be so tight? Allegations that he was 
he was a homosexual. Oh which for some reason was a big deal then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, in fact, a number of his associates confessed that they had engaged in uh, homosexual acts with him. Well, of course, they would later recant this confession. Like, they would say they were coerced. But anyway, in 1998, the Prime Minister fired the Deputy Prime Minister for allegedly using his influence to interfere in an investigation into his misconduct. He was stripped of his title, arrested, and sentenced to prison. And then he got out in 2004. He spent a few years off the radar, and then he came back in 2008 to lead the opposition party. Yay! <laughs> we have an opposition supporter here. <laughs> historically well in 2008. The ruling party had never been challenged like this before. And then, ooh, one of his male aides accused him of forcibly sodomizing him. Yeah. And when they asked this aide, hey, the opposition leader who was the former deputy prime minister is a lot older than you. He's in his 60s. How exactly did he physically force you? How did he overpower you? And then the aide revised his story to say that he was persuaded. Nobody really knows what that means. <laughs> After a long legal battle involving a lot of money and a lot of time, the opposition leader was finally acquitted of all charges in 2012. And he lived happily ever after. Until 2015 when the prosecution overturned the acquittal because they made an appeal. And then he got thrown in prison. He's still serving that sentence today. Meanwhile, you all remember the Prime Minister who fired the Deputy Prime Minister in the first place? Yeah. We all remember that guy. He was not just chilling. After he retired, he spent the next 14 years criticizing the shortcomings of each and every one of his successors. Each and every Prime Minister that came after him. All two of them. <laughs> not good enough for his Malaysia. Anything also, he found a way to criticize them. Like my mother-in-law kind of, you know. <laughs> then in 2017, this former Prime Minister formed his own political party and joined the opposition. I know, switch sides one. Then, he started challenging the ruling party that he used to be in charge of. How many of us can claim to be that active in our 90s, huh? <laughs> Anyway, now that the former Prime Minister and the former Opposition Leader, who's also the former Deputy Prime Minister, now that they're on the same side, they're actually friends now. Sort of. In fact, the former Prime Minister has even called that for the release of the former Opposition Leader, who was also the former Deputy Prime Minister, from prison. Yeah, which is really funny when you think about it, because, uh, you know, Jack, <laughs> What is that all about? History. Ah. <laughs> According to whom? According to whom? According to the newspapers on, on the internet. Do you honestly believe everything you read on the internet? Don't you? Well... Uh, listen to this, Andrew, right? More history. Great. So, um, a cabinet minister once said, the media must be given freedom to express its opinions freely, even the right to be wrong. But if it abuses its right, then the authorities have a duty to intervene. Unquote. Um, in 1987, three newspapers had their publishing permits withdrawn. Well, I'm glad I'm not a journalist. Okay, see, the same minister said, quote, the judiciary must be free to discharge its duties, but it cannot have 100% freedom. Otherwise, it will lose its sense of responsibility and do something wrong. Hmm. Yes, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Okay, okay. Um, um, one more thing. Uh, it says here, quote, the government must be regulated. There must be some party who controls or ensures that the government doesn't abuse its 
power. Okay, but who ensures that? What? I mean, who ensures that the government doesn't abuse its power? Uh, why don't we add them? Okay. Okay. So, who ensures that the military? Military? Yeah. Okay, have a demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should be independent. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Any guesses? Anyway. <laughs> Never had to. Like I said, the rules have changed. 
borrowed money to start a business. But the business closed down and, and he couldn't pay back. He became a slave to Dato and I also became Dato's property. But he does not own me completely. He wants something from me which I will not give him. Every day he asks me for it, and when I refuse, he takes his anger out on me. My husband is my lord and master. That is what my religion teaches me. I give myself only to my husband. That is how I have been brought up. But, but how can Nafo ask me to go against tradition and religion? Okay, 
Ini kira cikgu? Union paper Ah, second board Well, I get it The syndicate going to push it Can go as high as 40 bucks It's already gone up so high Already at 25 bucks so Can go up higher? Well, I see Really? The market's been going up and up Like nobody business You not scared to crash it Eh, no eh This has got a long way to go You see eh, there's still the higher value Then you see, the elections are coming later this year Eh, how can it crash? He moved in 20 lots today. Bought it at the peak and then it came down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, of course, that will happen, you know. My camp, what I can sell, uh, then it starts to fly. Uh, 20 lots is a lot of money, huh? Oh, well, I don't have to fork out any money. No, I do. I just put it in a margin account. Sure, and then pay lots and lots of interest, am I right? And the worst part is, if the market drops, then have to force sell. Oh, it won't drop, la saya. Eh, saya. It's so pessimistic, <laughs> Yes, optimism. We'll keep the market going up and up. I swear, everyone is thinking of getting rich quick these days. They're willing to do anything. No one seems to remember about the stock market crashes of the past, or the deposit taking cooperatives fiasco some years ago. You have to reserve, Sophia. Must be from the English side of you. Or maybe. You live too long in England. Here, the reality is, if there is an opportunity, you must take it. Especially now. Sure, but that doesn't mean you have to be greedy, you know. It's not about greed. It's about taking part in enterprise, making the right moves, taking calculated risks, competing in the marketplace. No, that is what our ministers and Madri Versailles are encouraging us to do. Right, what about you? Hey, correct, correct, correct. Hey, if you've got inside information, that one is still better. Is you live in because I'm Dato, who's very well connected, so he's very liable. Chun uh, Wei! Tomorrow I buy more. No more subsidy mentality. 
on the bank of the river that took our main fear she may have found herself. Have you searched thoroughly? It is dark, Dato. When the sun comes up, you will... No! Go and search her again. Find her! She must have gone into the river, Dato. There's no way we would have seen her otherwise. Then send the men into the river! The water in the river is huge, Dato. There's no way she would have possibly survived. I'm not going to keep myself. Find her! Wait! Give me your dress. <laughs> Unfortunate what has happened to your wife. I cannot bear to see you suffer like this anymore. That's why I'm letting you out. Go, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Run away before the doctor comes back. Go! I will not run away. I did it once before. It was wrong. This is my punishment for doing something wrong. I've lost my wife. <coughs> now I have nothing left. <coughs> if I run away, there is nowhere for me to go. No. No. My loyalty is to Gato. Take me to him so I can beg for his forgiveness. Are you sure that this is what you want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 